Twisted Fate saw, see, has seen a small resurgence mm -hmm. uh, so far this week. And both teams are going all in right here. Yes. Sit, and it's really interesting how Amorous isn't sending anyone back either. So it could actually just be a straight up inhibitor trade. All right, well, we're going to look for something because Amorous have now officially broken the bottom inhib turret. They're onto the inhib, but Cloud9 are starting to pick up pace here in you this little base race. You would think they set someone up. They're actually pinging next, next turret. turret, baby. All right, well, Amorous, they're going to get the first inhib, but Cloud9. Should be able to take this as they well. Amorals are done. Why not keep going? Shield right. on the minions. Two back now. Yeah. It, it's it's nine minutes in. Yep. They're not going to get this, I don't think. Uh. Oh my God. It, it looks like they might. Buddy really Fufu. No, he's not going to get that. It's getting close. Minions still there. They have to protect it. Cloud9 do take the in here, but Sneaky and Impact still pushing. C9 going to kick them out of their base. Cloud9 just going to yeah. push a wave in. But what a wacky trade. Yeah. I'm yeah. not really sure when these teams are interested in you know, actually fighting each other. Because right now, it's a whole lot of management. Yeah, absolutely. And I really do believe as C9 actually managed to take Oh, Povelta! Big hook to the face. Stun card's going to follow. But just some poke. They do get the turret, though. Good poke and turret. That equalized a little bit. But I really do believe the inhibitor trade at the start is almost the sole reason Immortal was able to get the Drake yes. and the Rift Herald. You're looking to Siege. Well, can't get too crazy because yeah. Sina have plenty of ways to initiate. Genalty up, though. There's the equalizer. Going to try and siege it out. Meteos. Kind of wants to take for. it. Sneaky, yeah. Just taking damage. Almost goes down. But Immortal's pretty successful there as Jensen eats the last bullet. Yeah. Mad no scope, like hook on flash play. Oh, impact, though. Oh, dear. The first target flashes away. Zara ulti burnt, though, by Adrian. Ignite down as well. Impact lives this time, but Meteos back in. Brain never going to get stunned up. He'll get hooked away. And first blood goes to Meteos. Ooh, and it's going to continue. Here comes Hooney. That's Hooney with the equalizer. Going to ride in, look for that big Proto. But Pogo, they're getting locked up. Proto, but straight into the back. And Sneaky's going to be forced to flash out. Impact running for his life as Cloud9 have three oh, low people on the front up. line. But that's a great exit there from Bunny Fufu. That's why you give Bunny Thresh. He knows the angles. Impact and Meteos still have a little ways to run. Yeah. Take a TP in. That's Jensen going to try and collapse. But it's actually about oh. Pogbatter and Hooney. Can't turn it around. Hooney doing too much damage. And now Impact may be caught out of good uh, position. He's going to die to Pogbatter. And Meteor's going to get caught as well. They tried to back. He gets over the line. Well, and Bonny Fufu -Fu saves him again. Oh, oh Adrian! Roger. He wants it, but he's going to get played out. Plants, not enough. And we're okay. Just a two for one, I think, as the dust settles. <laughs> Both teams doing a pretty good job keeping some vision up, although Rain over and Adrian getting cued. Gonna find Meteos, tags him up, but there's the Lanthan again. Zara ulti burn, but it's not enough. Meteos! Oh, he has to flush out of the way, but now the Gene ulti opens up. Pogart's around the side as Hoodie comes in as well. Sneaky gonna go down. Pogart will claim that kill. As Jensen almost gonna get sniped, he's forced to flush out. 23 minutes, they get a big fight and they turn for Baron. But C9 might be trying to stop this. Impact Bunny and Jensen are gonna be yeah, here. Jensen's here as well. They can't see him. Vision wears off for now, but Impact now gonna go in. The Baron, awfully low. They probably can't take it. Impact, he's just gonna try for a steal, but he doesn't get it. Bunny, make sure he gets out safely. Down their sixth turret of the game. They just plow through mid for two. As they're gonna look to break here as well. Don't forget that bottom in him is still exposed, so Immortals breaking here means a whole lot. Yeah, Cloud9 getting run over a little bit. We knew they kinda had the scaling, but they couldn't keep up their wave clear, and Immortals was able to find the fight. Immortals still playing very aggressively with this Baron. Yeah, Huni is playing frontline rumble right now. Just not afraid to go in at all. Plenty of protection as well. And that's in him, in him gonna be falling down. Cloud9 can't defend that one. Sneaky, it's a snare. And Immortals might just go straight down the bottom. There's a yeah. huge wave built up. And it's a pretty awesome poke composition from Immortals because Zyra is such a great counter initiator. So if C9 does try and go in, they're gonna have to go in through a Zyra. He just wants it, but Adrian only wants to get knocked back. He just ulties for protection. And Impact eating damage on the front line. Gene Ulti opens up. There's one. Two lands on a bunny. Equalizer down. They're gonna try to stop him. Lost bullet hits Impact. But Immortals are just straight in for it. Jensen stuns up Huni on the front line. But Impact tanking a lot of damage from all those APs. Cloud9 low, they might have to back away here. It's such a massive empowered minion wave, though, that's been just moving into the base. It gives them enough time to take down the second inhibitor in such a successful push. Maybe a locked down as well, but we'll escape this time. Jensen has the ulti. Does he fancy it? They want the flank. Immortals is really low. Yeah, Impact goes in. They may be looking for Wild Turtle, but he gets out of the way. is going to clear as well, and Jensen cannot find a target. Jensen was a little bit too low to be able to teleport into a dangerous location. He's also gone for Lich Bane. Roa build instead of going for an early Zonia, so he can't make those risky plays teleporting into the middle of the team. Kind of needed at this point, because C9 do need to be checking and looking for opportunities. Gene Ulti, they're going to poke him out. Sneaky, forced to burn the spell shield and the ultimate already. 
Last few boards gonna get tanked by Impact. Meteos on the side trying to do some work with Impact. Again, taking up too much damage. Huni goes golden in the front line, but Adrian's been picked out. Sony says as well, he's already finished one. Huni though is gonna go down and Cloud9 starting to fire back. Cobelta eats a stun, but the Zyra ult is massive on the front lines and Cloud9. Bittis can't complete the rest of his kills, but Jensen, he wants in. He wants in, can he make it? Meteos back in again, but Rain takes him out. Jensen up to the side, but goes a little too far. Oh, buddy, trying to make a hero play, but it's gonna cost him his life, and Jensen's too far to the left. Yeah. Sneaky under his turret, cannot escape. I mean, that was not a good start to the fight from Immortals, but they have the lead, and they're willing to push oh. the tempo! Spear! Doesn't go for it, Jensen Jensen's actually back. Rain over hops away, might oh. die here. Shield's good there from Keep Karma. Hop away! Got too much healing. Adrian gonna threaten and Immortal's low, but they're gonna keep going. Jensen flashes in. A desperate oh play, God. but he's got stayed up. Adrian's gonna take him down. They're still going, it's just sneaky. They're actually trying to take the last Nexus turret. Teleporting it on Jin Trap. Almost enough. This Huni, the most aggressive of plays. Proto belts in, Bunny back in. These death timers aren't that long. This is just mind-bogglingly risky from Immortals, but this is how they can play sometimes. They're feeling so comfortable, but they are right on the edge of getting full wipe. Oh, it happened, again. happened again. Adrian, now gonna die, maybe. Yes, does fall down. Ran over the next target. Meteos gonna bump him back in, but that's not enough for the kill. Meteos actually collects the double and might look to escape with his life. Who needs though getting chased down by impact while Turtle takes out Sneaky on the back end. And the next is still exposed. Uh, this isn't enough. Turtle, get him. But he's gonna shoot him down. Also get shot down. Who needs still alive, by the way? And now hitting the Nexus. I think Immortals have won the game. Jensen gonna try and stop the Bahuni. This is a little too far ahead. Pops the shield. Radiant's gonna cancel it down. They are gonna get him. But Pogba, so look at that! Oh my goodness. And it does end. Oh, baby. Yeah, pretty big smile coming up from Pobelter.